new quintet, and this is our second concert together as a group. Um, we started in the spring of 2021, and we had all the COVID precautions and measures in place for all of our rehearsals and performances, and so we're excited to be in a place now where we can relax a little bit and share more music with everybody. Um, speaking of our rehearsals, uh, we need to give a big thanks to the Food Center of New York, which happens to be my place of employment. <laughs> um, they are our rehearsal space, and they have been since we started, um, so we thank them for letting us use the space. They were also the space we used for our first performance, um, official performance last December. Um, and this concert is part of their salon series. Um, so you can catch it on their Facebook page, YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff um, coming soon. But we're glad you're here in person, so thank you for coming. Um, the first piece we played was Autumn Music by Jennifer Higdon. Uh, Jennifer Higdon is a Pulitzer Prize winning composer. Um, I've always enjoyed her music, and she's also a flute player, and she also happens to go to the same undergraduate university as me, so I'm a little biased there, but I do love her music. Um, I have also played some other uh, chamber music of hers, a, a flute quartet, and when we started playing autumn music, I noticed a lot of similarities between the two pieces. Um, there's a lot of, she creates a lot of colors and textures that, to the audience, it just sounds like this broader picture, but behind the stands and the music, uh, are, we actually have rhythms that are quite complex. And so um, it's a lot of moving and understanding each other's parts. Uh, so we end up all in the same place at the same time, but it always creates interesting textures, especially when we all land on the same rhythm and play the same thing together. Um, the piece was inspired, as many of the pieces on our program are, by uh, Samuel Barber's Summer Music, which is kind of a staple in the woodwind quintet repertoire. And um, this was one of the things that uh, Jennifer Higdon wrote about um, autumn music. Autumn comes to us in many guises, incredible explosions of color, air that suddenly snaps with crisp crispness and clarity, a tinge of melancholy that comes on the eve of change in all of our lives. This piece is a musical portrait of the essence and images of autumn. Thanks, Kim. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about Oh, my name's Tyler, I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about our next piece, which is called the Winter Music. Um, similar to uh, Jennifer Higdon's piece, it also is inspired by uh, Sandra Barber's Summer Music. So Winter Music um, was written by Adam Schoenberg, and for him, he started to brainstorm ideas about how to compose this piece in a way that's personal to him. Um, like all of us, for the most part, with New England winters, what we think about is summer and holidays. Oh, sorry, snow. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have words. Yeah. Snow, holidays, <laughs> um, and coldness. Um, however, when he began writing this piece, uh, he had just moved to LA, so he felt very disconnected to what winter was for him, to what his new life is now. And you can hear that in the piece a little bit in the beginning. Um, it almost sounds like it doesn't quite fit. Uh, similar to also Higdon's autumn music, winter music, summer music, uh, they're all pretty cyclical in the sense of you'll hear fragments maybe in the beginning and then it'll come back in the middle or the end. Um, and you'll definitely hear that with this piece as well as winter music. We'll start off um, with a, that disjointed beginning, but then it'll go to a fast section and it'll come back and, and, and then disappear again. Um, Thank you. 
Thank you. My name is Michael, and I'm the oboist of the group. Um, if uh, you haven't heard of this next composer, it isn't because he isn't famous. Um, he's a very, very well-respected, award-winning um, composer in Bulgaria. <laughs> his name is Ruman Boyadev Jr. Um, he's been awarded for his film scores, his um, theatrical productions, and for a wide range of classical and concert material. I'm fairly certain that there has only ever been one other work of his performed in this hemisphere, so we are pleased to give the Western Hemispherical premiere of his Spring Quintet. You'll hear in the first movement, um, Spiel, which means game. Um, it's a very light and playful, um, and at sometimes raucous work. The second movement, uh, Vegan Lead, is a lullaby. And the last movement, Bach, or uh, Stream, uh, depicts a baboon brook.
Um, so this last piece, actually, I was working at the place where it was commissioned in 2019 by Bridgehampton Chamber Music. Um, I heard them play it. I got to hear really great players play it, and it's just it just had a hold on me ever since. And it's a little bit what this program is based on because one, it's gorgeous. Two, we have a killer pianist with us, Dasha Bukartsva. And um, we didn't want to play Barber, and so uh, we figured it fit in with our message that we want to play new music with living composers and. Uh, it's just really gorgeous. It's about five movements, but it's it's all it pl we play right through it, so you won't even be able to tell. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 